Okay, I'm not mad at the normal people here. They're just some assholes that were giving me a shit. That's why I made that video. To the normal people here, hi, how are you? Sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> now with normal videos. Dun, dun, dun. Finally finished Battlegrounds. It took me a few days. It's a pretty good book, actually. Yes, this is still in October when I finished it. And yes, it didn't come out that long ago. But I was just could not put it down. Okay, I had other shit I had to do. But you know how it is. Work and whatnot. But still, it's a very good book. And oh, by the way, this review is spoiler as fuck. I'm not holding back shit. Sorry if you're expecting that. Then sorry, read the book, come back later. It's a very good book. It is mostly a battle book. There's not a lot of detective skills in this one. Uh, we get to see uh, Harry Dresden as badass sorcerer, mage with the winter mantle. We don't really see Harry Dresden detective till like the very end. And Jim Butcher would say that he wanted to be the guy that wrote the epic fantasy battles, Lord of the Ring types, dun -dun -dun, you know, Helm's Deep type stuff. And he kind of did a modern version of that with this book. And yes, it works well if you read uh, Peace Talks first. It doesn't work as well. And I was right that, well, I was technically right. Technically, Thomas, okay, he had killed the person, but attacked the person, but he was being used by a monster. One of the monsters to do it himself, but whatever. <clears throat> so he was tricked. There was something else behind it. It wasn't just Thomas losing his mind. I knew that. Ha. Didn't know it was Justine that was possessed by the monster. That was a bit of a shock. Because, you know, I didn't realize that she had been possessed for a long ass time. So several books back, and hopefully Thomas can save his unborn child and his wife. And I think Justine actually was in, because I don't know, because I know this monster possessed its, you know, one of those uh, the outsider creature things. From the Dresden Files, these weird creatures that are called the Outsiders, not the comic book, the Outsiders. Anyway, the one that walks alongside or beside, I think it's called. Anyway, you find that out near the end because she does try to get to Demon Reach, but Dresden is able to outsmart the monster and whatnot, and he dives out of the boat before the water beetle gets there. So if the monster had gone to Demon Reach by herself, she would have been fucked. But her plan was to fuck everything else up there, but Harry figured her out, or why he waited to let out, no, but whatever. And so the monster has escaped with the baby and Justine's body. I don't know why he didn't grab the child, but I guess he didn't have a choice. Figured the monster wouldn't go after, I don't know. Anyway, so that's there in the end. Uh, Everything with McCoy hasn't been talked through. I'm sure it's going to happen later. But after all, we're in the middle of a big, massive fucking battle where Maeve has just got her ass handed to her by this weird, big monster thing, Baylor's daughter. I'm not even going to fucking pronounce it. I'm sorry. <coughs> I I have Irish ancestry as well as German. I, you know, my ancestors have just so knowledge. Shit, I've already been there. But I'm not even going to fucking try to pronounce this Titan's name because she's a Titan. I don't understand why... We have an Irish Titan, which is just a Greek goddess or something. You know, I, an Irish goddess and like... Uh, I don't know enough about uh, Irish history. I know of Kula Colin. Uh, I know of the Morgan and shit like that. But I don't know... And of course, Scratch, who totally had fucked over in the Red Sonja comics, but that's not important. So it's nothing to do with this. But at any rate, there's a big battle for Chicago <laughs> and I'm shocked holy shit Jim Butcher actually went and did it oh no that's good congratulations sir that was impressive he pulled a fucking Gwen Stacy Murphy is fucking dead impressive that's pretty much what I have to say. I feel bad for Harry, and it, it kind of sounds like, oh shit, I didn't think they really killed this character. I liked her well enough, but, and I liked Murphy and Dresden together as a couple. But again, as I've stated before, my favorite character is Molly, and she's already been fucked over, so I, I had my big fuck moment with uh, 
briefcases, I think it was called. Had a, you know, they had a story with Molly, and we found out how fucked up the battle is for her. She'll be the Wonder Lady. If she does appear in this, and she does help in the big battle. <sighs> Maeve uses herself and Titania to fuck with uh, the big Titan long enough for, uh, for Dresden to come out and save the day at the end. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of going all over the places because I'm remembering things that happened and I'm looking through the book while I'm talking. And if she can turn that up in her memory. Butters has become badass. I know, I'm as shocked as anybody else, but Butters is actually able to go one-on-one -on -one with this sucker, with his sword. I mean, yeah, it's him and uh, Sonny, is that his name? I'm not very good with the Russian names. Uh, the other night, so the American knight, or excuse me, the black Russian. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Anyway, <clears throat> they have a decent, they have a really good fight. Of course, it's really just to keep everything all well enough for Harry to pull himself up. And yeah, Butters gives a great speech for Harry to why he's how many people he's beaten and whatnot. And Harry gives an okay speech. You know, everybody's loved that speech that Harry gives. I'm, I'm, just, I'm sorry. I, I just like, okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, that makes sense. Sorry, cool. <sighs> And yes, Murphy killed a fucking, uh, what are they called? I want to say Jatun, but no, that's not right. Yor, Yor, Yorin, Yorin, I don't fucking know. A big fucking giant. I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, Norse mythology giant thing, you know. Yamir, Yamir, fucking Yamir. Anyway. With a fucking rocket launcher, she blows it to hell and back. And yeah, they had a bunch of, uh, what are they called? Those, those who, yeah, the, the big Viking fuckers who fought and helped fight off one of these big fucking things. But Murphy literally killed the big, big bad one that supposedly fought Thor at some point. Or so it said. And it smacks the shit out of fucking Dresden. You, Dresden does put up a decent fight, but it is Murphy who kills the thing. And then Dick Ferrands shoots Murphy because he's freaking out. Yeah, you know the asshole. She's always having problems with. There's a dickhead's name. Anyway. Freaks out and kills Murphy. So there's now he's taking his love of Spider-Man to the next level by pulling the Gwen Stacy in this one. Does that mean? Ooh, that would be weird if she were <laughs> Mary Jane. <laughs> Queen of the fucking vampires is Mary Jane in this fucking world. 